This is a no, no gyro or anything, by the way. For whatever reason, no matter how low I have it or whatever setting I have it on, it impedes the ability to drift at all. It just, like, wants to keep it, I mean, obviously it wants to try to keep it straight, but, like, it doesn't let you steer at times, and it's just, it's just garbage. So this whole time I'm driving with zero gyro, you know what I mean? So give me a break. <laughs> Faster servo. I need to get a faster. Oh, something just happened. Oh no, let's see. Grab the controller. Hmm, interesting. Already then. Get good. I need to get good. Right. So my uh, final thoughts, after uh, not making any initial thoughts or saying anything about what I did to this thing. So uh, you know, since Traxxas came out with the Fortech Drift, I was like, man, I got a Fortech 2.0 already, and I don't want to buy another one. But I do want to start drifting. So I decided to try and you know make this into a drift. I mean, so what I did so far for mods, I guess you could say, obviously drift wheels and tires from Traxxas themselves. Those are. I mean, they work really good, I'm not going to lie. Um, I added four, four ounces of weight back here with wheel weights. I just stuck them on. And honestly, that made a huge, huge difference. Just that right there made it, like, way easier to swing, like, bigger angles and all that stuff. Uh, steering the, um, the, what do you call these knuckles from the from Traxxas are, like, blocked off on these two, you know, inside holes or whatever. So I kind of poked something through there. I got it, like, real hot, um, a little pick tool and poked it through there and then just kind of screwed them in so that it gives you a little a tiny bit more steering angle um it worked i mean it worked pretty well you know it worked pretty well i think oh then obviously this is some what the hell is that v vrc racing hobby power vrc racing it's a uh, i think it handles up to 3s but i'm only running it on 2 right now 2s and it works all right that was like an amazon special i'm pretty sure uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty smooth. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty smooth. It has a tiny, tiny, like, grr, grr, uh, stutter at the very, very startup. But, um, you know, when you're drifting, you don't notice it. With these wheels and tires, you really don't notice it. They're, they spin so freely. So, I mean, it's doing, it's doing all right. That's a, uh, <laughs> a 124th scale crawler tire foam insert holding the battery in place, by the way. I thought that was cool. So, yeah, the next upgrade. I mean, I already have an upgraded servo in there upgraded servo but i mean look, look at this thing man it's not really it's not that good actually Let's see i gotta it's like eh it can barely kind of keep up and i feel like in the moment kind of thing like when i'm out using it it's eh, it just doesn't feel like it's quick enough like i want it to be a little eh, a little snappier so that's gonna be the next thing faster servo uh I don't know. I don't know what else I can really do to this without getting a whole drift steering set up in front end to give it even more steering angle. So I'm probably just going to keep running it just like this. And uh, if I get more into the drifting, I'll actually get a real drift car. Like, I don't know, like a Yokomo or some awesomeness. Who knows? Who knows what the fuck's going to happen? But 
yeah, dude, my first foray into drifting is trying to turn my Fortech into a drift car. All-wheel drive drifting is kind of sick. I mean, it's not really drifting, I guess. It's more like power sliding. I'm rambling, uh, but yep, thanks for watching, if you did.